schizophrenia terrifies people, and being open about schizophrenia has to be at least 10 times as hard as being open about depression. And John Nash allowed us to see the living, breathing person within the prison of the illness. So what's your story? You the poor kid that never got to go to Exeter or Andover. Despite my privileged upbringing, I'm actually quite well balanced. I have a chip on both shoulders. <laughs> it gives you an interpretation of schizophrenia. There, there's, uh, there's delusional thinking. I think the scene that was most moving to me was the one in which John Nash's wife comes into his office and realizes that it's full of lunacy and that everything that he's been doing is crazy. There's an expression on her face as she recognizes what's really been going on, which absolutely broke my heart. And I thought that that must have meant a great deal to the families of people with intractable schizophrenia to see someone there having that revelation. It was very honest, it was very brave. You know, a bright mind under severe, you know, almost unbearable challenge. People saw that somebody could function very highly and at the same time um, have uh, uh, schizophrenia. And I feel that um, that certainly raises hope. As a film like A Beautiful Mind is shown on an international basis, that people all over the world have a sense that they, what they are suffering from is not necessarily so stigmatized that it's something about which it is possible to speak. A lot of people have appreciated it and they're still appreciating it. What I, I think is like more needed is, is not awareness, but actual uh, good medicine, good therapy, good good treatments. We don't have any drugs, that's why we want to do genetics and we'd like to know better what is wrong with the brain. And then one of the things we'll try to do is to look at um, how uh, mutations in specific genes which have been linked to neuropsychiatric disorders uh, might then cause uh, changes in the circuitry. And Cold Spring Harbor Lab is a place that's helping to bridge that gap. So that the ideas that are being uh, arrived at by great scientists can be readily applied to the treatment of patients who are actually ill. We could live shorter lives if we put less of an effort into medicine. Well, I would say John Nash has certainly been an inspiration. He's a good man. You know, there's some people who don't care about other people. He cares. He's a vastly inspiring man. He's a brilliant man. The complex relationship between brilliance and illness has never been better expounded than it has in the material on John Nash. When we think of schizophrenia, we think of John Nash. <laughs>